Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Lattes on Lunch Break and I am Velma. Thank you so much for joining me today in our break room and I wanted to discuss with you my top five best gourmand fragrances for Valentine's Day. Whether it's Valentine's Day or not, these are just outstanding fragrances that you'll need in your collection, that you would want in your collection if you are a gourmand fragrance lover. Now, some of them are a little heavier on the caramel, some of them are a little heavier on the vanilla, and some is a beautiful combination of both. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So these gourmand fragrances that I have chosen for you today are one that are gonna bring such joy and love to you because they are just so rich and decadent and beautiful and just warm and cozy vibes that it brings to you. So in my first selection that I've chosen for you, this one is Viva La Juicy Gold Couture by Juicy Couture. Uh, here is the bottle there and you can see my particular one is a tester. I was able to get this one um, at FragranceNet. I'm sure you're familiar with that if you are in the States and um, a lot of times they will give you an image of what the tester will look like. Um, this is an unused product. It's still authentic. It's still the original juice, but sometimes they will show you whether it comes with the cap or not. And this one particularly came with the cap. So I went with the tester. I saved a few dollars on that. It's one way you can save a little bit of money when you are making your collection. Um, back to Juicy Couture Gold. This fragrance is a beautifully done. It is in the gourmand uh, genre of fragrances, if you can say that. Um, this particular, so good. This one was recommended to me by my cousin, Clarissa. Yay, thank you so much for this recommendation, Clarissa. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, the main accords for this fragrance are caramel, vanilla, fruity, sweet, white floral, woody, powdery, amber and balsamic. And let me tell you, the caramel and the vanilla in this is to die for. This one here will give you all of those compliments that you so desire when you want to smell good, feel good. You're, I don't know about you, but when I have something on and I'm looking and feeling good, it's always nice to hear that little sweet comment. Either you smell so good or, oh my goodness, you smell wonderful, whatever it is. This one here is going to be part of that top five that I recommend for you for Valentine's Day if you enjoy those gourmand fragrances, if your significant other loves that type of scent on you. And it is an absolutely beautifully blended fragrance that has long wearability and it projects a beautiful sillage. Like you will walk around in the room and people will notice you. People will stop you and say, oh my goodness, what are you wearing? Because that is how good Viva La Juicy Gold Couture is. It really is. So let's go ahead and talk about the top notes, the middle notes, and the base notes. So in the top note, you have wild berries. In the middle notes, you have honeysuckle and jasmine sandbag. And in the base notes, this is where it's that creamy, rich, wonderful, warm, and delicious uh, fragrance that it brings about that gourmand um, aspect to it. Caramel, vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. It is so beautiful. You can't go wrong with this one on Valentine's Day. If you're looking for that creamy, gourmand, seductive type of fragrance, it is warm and a compliment getter. You won't go wrong with Viva La Juicy Gold Couture by Juicy Couture. All right, this is the Eau de Parfum version. It is absolutely beautiful. All right, let's move on to the next one. Now, I can't talk about gourmand fragrances without talking about this one. You know this one was made famous by Jeremy Fragrance, right? Absolutely, you know which one I'm talking about. This one here is Boss the Scent Private Accord for her by Hugo Boss. Here is the gorgeous bottle. The juice, of course, is that caramel and cacao color. It is beautiful amber. It is just gorgeous. Okay, so this here, 
brings about a beautiful chocolatey vanilla coffee type scent. This is a true straight up gourmand fragrance. What I love about this, this is warm and spicy. It settles into the skin. And let me tell you, at first smell, it wasn't my favorite. But a lot of times I recommend that you give your fragrances some time. Sometimes when they sit on your counter or in your cabinet, wherever it is that you store them and you go back to them and you revisit them, your nose will change, your sense of smell will change, the mood, the time of year will change, the weather outside will change, all of those different aspects with regard to wearing a fragrance, those things matter. They will change the mood, they will change the smell, they will change the way you interpret them. And I'm telling you, this is one I thought about letting go in the beginning. But as I wore it, and as I wore it more often, and then as I got those reactions from my husband, I couldn't let it go. Like it is one that I, now you might have to respray or spray it on your clothes and layer this with some gorgeous, you know, buttercream that is a vanilla scent. I've got a good one by Rachel's Plan B. If you can get your hands on her buttercream, the vanilla one is to die for. Check it out. Rachel's Plan B, if you layer that with this Hugo Boss, it's not going anywhere. It is absolutely beautifully like a creamy richness to it and you won't want to be without it. It is so gorgeous, so delicious. It's going to bring those chocolatey vibes to your Valentine's Day. Absolutely beautiful. Boss the Scent Private Accord by Hugo Boss. All right, that's my second recommendation. My third recommendation for you is going to be one that is also our gourmand, but it's going to have a sweetness and a fruitiness to it, but also a white floral aspect to it. And I just can't think of Valentine's Day without mentioning this one. And I don't know about you, but for me, Victor and Rolf does it right. They make high quality fragrances that aren't budget breaking. I'm telling you, such good quality fragrances, you can't go wrong with any of them. Even the men's fragrances are delicious. They are absolutely so good. Okay, this one here, the cuteness in a bottle, absolutely. This is Bon Bon by Victor and Rolf. Here, your main accords are caramel, sweet, citrus, fruity, white floral, woody, amber, and it's powdery. Oh, this is so delicious. This is so good. If you don't have this in your collection, get it. Any of these that I'm mentioning, I'm telling you, I wouldn't be just saying, oh, let's just go out and spend your money. No, I'm a budget girl. I have to budget. Those of you who know me, I'm a teacher of 20 some years, okay? So I have to budget in order to enjoy some of these finer things. So let me tell you, this is why I love this fragrance so much. I like that I still get the flowery aspect to it in a gourmand fragrance. The caramel and the sweetness and the powdery dry down is just beautiful. And some of you may not categorize this as a gourmand, but I do. I do. It is considered a floral fruity gourmand. Floral fruity gourmand. Okay, so let's talk about this. So the top notes are peach, mandarin orange, orange, middle notes are caramel, orange blossom, jasmine, and the base notes are amber, sandalwood, Quiotic wood and cedar. Now, as we are looking at those notes, the caramel and the peach and the orange, it just is a beautiful combination. It really is. And for Valentine's Day, it just screams delicious sweetness and yummy. It just does. It just does. And the bottle is so cute. How could you not want this? How could you not want this? 
So you won't go wrong with wearing Bon Bon by Victor and Rolf on Valentine's Day. All right, let's move on to the next one. My next gourmand fragrance that I want to recommend to you, we talk about budget friendly and we talk about me being on a budget. Yes, absolutely. I'm always responsible with what I do and the choices that I make. So that being said, for this particular one, this one is so budget friendly and it is absolutely delicious. You would not know this bottle cost you 20 bucks. You wouldn't. Vanilla Bourbon by Mix Bar. Okay, this one can be found at Target. Yes, it is, I think it's a, yeah, 1.7 ounce for $18.99, okay? And this particular vanilla bourbon is an eau de parfum, and it has simple accords. Vanilla, it's woody, powdery, and sweet. This is an absolute beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It smells so much better on the skin. There's a warmth to it. There's just that little part of booze that you get in the bourbon dry down, and it is just absolutely delicious. You will find yourself wanting more. And what I love about this, this can be used on a man or a woman, and it smells differently. When my husband puts it on, it creates a different warmth and vibe on him than it does on me, and it is absolutely beautiful. I love the vanilla in here. So on my notes for this particular fragrance, it's just oh, single notes. You have Madagascar vanilla, oak, black pepper, jasmine, and apple blossom. It is beautiful. It is beautifully done. This is my favorite. They have a variety of different fragrances in Mix Bar. And this one here is a definite must have if you want that gourmand scent on Valentine's Day. All right, and that is Vanilla Bourbon by Mix Bar. All right, let's go ahead and move on to my last one in this specific collection of gourmand fragrances, my top five in my collection that I would recommend for you on Valentine's Day. And this one is Annie by Nishane. All right, this one here is beautiful. This is a beautiful spicy vanilla. Okay, let's go ahead and take a, oh yeah, definitely spicy vanilla for sure. And this is long wearing. You don't need to apply very much to get that beautiful fragrance from it. It's, to me, it comes out very citrusy in the beginning. It comes out very aromatic in the beginning. But when it dries down, this is when I experience the amber, the woodiness, and then the balsamic and the vanilla when it dries down. Oh, it's so good. And what I also love about this one as well, this one can be used for a man or a woman. And any of these can, right? It's your choice. You do what you want to do and you wear what you, makes you happy, right? But it leans both. It leans both ways. And I love this because this is a universal scent. The only time of year I would probably not wear this and of course it depends on where you live but where I live I would not wear it in our hot summer um, months right I wouldn't do that but it can be worn during the day it can be worn at night I specifically like it for this time of year Valentine's Day in that area when we're looking for that gourmand fragrance just to bring that extra decadence to our evening or to our sweet Valentine celebration whatever it is that's what I would recommend in the top notes, it has ginger, bergamot, pink pepper, the, and a green notes. In the middle notes, it has cardamom, black currant, Turkish rose, and in the base notes, it has vanilla, benzoin, it has sandalwood, cedar, patchouli, musk, and ambergris. This is so beautiful. This is Ani by Nishane. All right, everyone, that wraps up this video of my top five most hormone fragrances that you would want to wear on Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you giving me your time here. I want you to have 
love. I want you to have peace and I want you to have a beautiful Valentine's celebration wherever it may be with whomever it may be with. Uh, peace and love to you all. Thank you much for joining me here and I will see you in my next one. Bye everyone.